Hi there guys, I'm back with another video and today I've got such a cute background, I just have to point that out. So if you guys have been watching my videos, you'll know that I was in London last week and I went crazy shopping. I'm not even gonna lie, I'm surrounded in stuff right now all over the floor. So I thought what better way than to do a London haul that is massive and huge filled with fashion, beauty products. I will be uploading a London vlog more or less every day so you guys can keep up with how my trip went but yeah I want to show you guys what I bought. I got some really nice things. I'm going to try and go through as much of this as possible because I don't want this video to go on too long. Okay so I'm going to start this off with the things that I don't have bags for because I tried to prepare myself for this haul and I tried to keep all of the bags from my shopping and shove them in my suitcase. The first thing I got was this. It is a hip flask and it is from Paper Chase. It's really cute skull pattern. Put my alcohol in there. <laughs> and then I got this from Pineapple which also didn't come with a bag. This was on sale. It's like a cropped hoodie. It just crops right there. Then I got some stuff from H&M, my favorite. First thing I got was this top. This was on sale, this was four pounds. And I thought it would be a really nice going out shirt. And then I got this shirt, which is really baggy. And the pink is like felt. And I love it. The next shop I went to was Primark and again, I don't have a Primark bag, this is just a Topshop bag. Primark is so cheap in the UK compared to here, it's actually unreal. I got these sunglasses for three pounds. Then I picked up some false eyelashes for a pound. A set of eyeliner pencils, one in like a gold color and one in white for a pound. And then I got this liquid eyeliner which is purple for a pound. Again for a pound I got some nail polish remover pads. Again for a pound I got these earrings. They dangle really cutely. I lost the backboard of this but this was also a pound. It's this triangle. And then I got this watch for four pounds. It's got this little elephant in it. I love the leather straps on it. And then clothes wise I got myself this hoodie. This was three pounds. It's just stripes. Then I got myself this crop top with itchy and scratchy on it. This was three pounds. Massive Simpsons fan I am. They were eight pounds. And they're these pajama pants. They've got Paddington Bear on them. How cute is that? Then I picked up this shirt for five pounds. It's really, really tight. And I don't know, I'm a little obsessed with stripes apparently. And then I got myself some tights. You can't really see, but these are tights that look like socks. I think those were three pounds. And then these were, I think, four pounds. And they're just knee-high socks that have little stripes at the top. And they're really, really cute. And that's everything from Primark. Then I went to HMV, two for 15 pounds. So I ended up getting Sam Smith's album and then Toblo's album. And then of course I saw this for three pounds and I had to get it, it's he's just not that into you. I loved the movie so I really wanna read the book. I then went to TK Maxx and I came across these. Okay, these are actually Kurt Geiger's. They were selling originally for £140 and I got them for £40. Then I went to Topshop and as you can see what's hanging out the bag is this gorgeous hat. I love it so much, I think it's so cute. Then I went to the sales section upstairs, racks that say like, if you don't buy them now you'll regret it or something and it's true. <laughs> I'm buying so many clothes that's for winter when I live in Spain and it's really hot but I couldn't resist, they were so beautiful. So I got this cropped jumper and it's this gorgeous blue colour and then I got myself some more Topshop jeans. These ones are again Lee Fit in green so now I have another colour to add to my collection. <laughs> I'm addicted to jeans from Chop. Yep. Yeah. Next up, I went to Forever 21. Achoo! Sorry. First up, I want to show you the smaller bag. In here is just 
a pair of shoes. How gorgeous are these? They are amazing, love these. And then the other bag is just clothes. So the first thing I got was this dress. It's got a cut out here on each side. It's really, really cute, quite sophisticated. Then I picked up this really gorgeous top. It's this really nice crocheted um, red tank. I picked up this kimono, that's the back pattern. Oh, everyone keeps telling me that looks so Spanish, it looks so Spanish. Yeah, it looks a little Spanish, but I don't know. I really like it. And then lastly from Forever 21, I got this. Um, it's like an overshirt and it's all crocheted at the back really big sleeves that are so like hippie and it ties up in the front then I went to Victoria's Secret and there was a sale believe it or not it's not underwear I ended up getting this really cute beach dress that's the front it's got these really nice black straps in the front love the pattern then I ended up going to the Disney store and I actually couldn't help it but I had to get it it's this Snow White mug perfect for my morning coffees I love Snow White she's my favorite princess so that was everything like fashion related next up is all beauty so the first place I went to was of course Mac I ended up getting a makeup brush this makeup brush goes with my bronzer from the wash and dry collection. One side it's got different fibres to the other one so you can actually use this for two different powders. Then I went to Superdrug and I bought myself this massive dry shampoo. You cannot get dry shampoo anywhere here. This is 400 mils of dry shampoo in the best scent ever. And then of course I had to support Team YouTube and I saw Zoella's Fizz Bar. So I thought why not try something from her beauty range. Then I ended up going to Boots. So the first thing I picked up in Boots was this Ted Baker fragrance. And Oh my god! It smells so amazing. I love the smell of this. Then I picked up some Batiste minis, some mini dry shampoos. And then I went to the Soap and Glory makeup counter and picked up a Hocus Pocus highlighter. And of course, the Archery Brows. Um, it's a two-in-one brow stick. And then last but not least, on the entire haul, I of course went to Lush. Okay, so from Lush I got five things. The first thing I got was this. Ah, it's a dragon. It is a bubble bar, I think. Next, I got an Oxford Street Lush exclusive called Intergalactic, and it's this big bath bomb. It is based on the movie Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, when you put this in your water, your water turns really dark blue and purple and so much glitter to look like a starry sky. Then I got another Oxford Street exclusive called The Experimenter. Now this one is really, really, really psychedelic. This one, when you drop it into your water, it makes your water look like a tie-dye effect and it's so cool. Next I got a little bath oil thing and they're really creamy it's like creaming on my hand this one is called shark infested custard this is meant to be upright like a shark fin but it drooped and it's so oily so I'm gonna put it back in the bag but it smells just like custard and then last but not least guys I got a classic my absolute favorite from Lush the sex bomb. It turns your water pinky purple and it smells like rose petals. So yeah guys, that finishes up my London haul. If you enjoyed it, please give this video a big thumbs up because it really helps me out. I've got so many more hauls because I love doing hauls. If you want to see them, links are in the description or head over to my channel. I have a playlist called Beauty and Hauls. Go check that out. Like I said, I was vlogging on my trip to London and I will be uploading those videos on a daily basis. So if you don't want to miss out on those, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you all in my next video. Bye! <laughs> Skunk spray or licorice? It just looks like death. Oh, my breath stinks of it! Oh. Ugh. It's like farts. <laughs>